Hello, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to our show. I'm your host, Jake Stretter. Today is the day for a new puppet show book talk. But first, did you know that you can rearrange the letters of dormitory to say dirty room? Weird, huh? That's an anagram. Now we bring you another one-minute interview this week. Say hello to Miss Kirschenbaum. Why did you want to become a teacher? Well, teaching was actually not my first career. I actually worked in higher education at the college level first, but I always have really um, loved education. I always was um, an enthusiastic student myself, and Spanish was a subject I really enjoyed in school and that I studied in college, so it seemed like um, a really great next step in my career to come and teach. What is your favorite part of teaching? I love making connections with my students. Um, It's definitely the most rewarding part of my job. Um, I love to have fun in class and convey my love for the Spanish language. I learn from my students every single day, uh, lots of different things. I learn uh, patience, I learn um, understanding, I learn to be, um, to see things through different eyes. Why did you decide to teach in Hopkinton? Hopkinton is a really special community and I'm so um, lucky to be able to teach here. Our students are amazing. They are very motivated. They strive for, um, they always strive to do their best. And I really appreciate that. The um, families are really um, very involved and very positive. We thank Ms. Kirsch and Baum for spending the time with us. And you can visit our website for the full interview. Three minutes of goodness. Check this out. You can rearrange the letters of the Morse code to say, here come dots. Crazy. And now we have Puppet Show Book Talk. Hello, Ape Lincoln. It's so nice to have company in the book nook. I just finished a wonderful book about Garfield and am now looking for my next book. Do you have any suggestions? Hmm? Yes. Actually, there is a very good book by Marie Lu called Warcross. It is about an 18-year-old girl who lives in a world where a virtual reality game is played by everyone. Her job is to track down people who do illegal business in this game. Oh, oh, that sounds so good. It gets better. Oh. The girl, Amika, is a very good hacker. She hacks into the game at a national Warcross game, just like the Super Bowl. Hmm. But now, with but now it's a virtual reality game instead. Because of this, millions of people around the world see her live. In Mm. less than 24 hours, she becomes an overnight sensation and gets a call from the creator of Warcross himself. Oh, wow, Ape Lincoln, this is amazing. This seems like a very good book. I'm definitely going to read it. You should. He offers her a very interesting and dangerous job that she cannot refuse. If you want to see what happens, I get the do. book Warcross by Marie Lu today. Oh, thank you, Ape Lincoln. Anytime. Smart, funny, and good for you. Thanks to everyone who makes that segment happen. This school is amazing, and what can you get when you mix up snooze alarms? Alas, no more Z's. Next, have you ever wondered what gets swept up in the hallways? Well, we did. So we all know that custodians work here. This is a must-have for the school to work. But what do they sweep up every day? We've got a marker, another marker, two pencils, and a piece of fruit. I wonder what else they sweep up. Okay, here we go. Granola, chocolate milk, a pair of shoes that don't even match. Oh, that's mine. Okay, well, let's see what else they sweeped up. I've seen some pretty odd stuff today. It can't possibly get any worse. Lorelai? Can we just go back to the anchor now? Remember, friends don't let friends get swept up. Next, next up slot machines and you get cash lot in them. Strange, but true. Now let's see who gets birthday wishes. Roar the squirrel.
Happy birthday, everybody. Finally, take the words 11 plus 2. Rearrange the letters to get something that's strangely coincidental. First one to email us the correct answer gets a prize. In related prize news, if you haven't found or have you seen this location or answered our online poll, you still got one week left and someone's getting a prize for answering our poll. So check out and everything else at HMS today and send your thoughts to HMS TV uh, Hiller's org. Tell us what you like and what we should be doing until ne next week. Study hard.